If you don't first have absolute certainty that you can get to where you're committed to going, you're never going to get there, obviously, obviously. You guys all are very familiar with you know, the stories of Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, John D. Rockefeller. Let me give you a story that not a lot of people are familiar with with Henry Ford. I, I forget the exact engine. I can't remember if he was the one who created the six cylinder or not. But what I do know is that he had started creating vehicles and there was a particular engine design that they were trying to create, that he wanted to create. And all of the best scientific minds at the time said, sir, this is absolutely impossible. There's absolutely no way it's gonna be done. Scientifically, it's just not possible. And Henry Ford said, I'll have it anyway. And so he literally had a team of scientists in his company. And if they wanted to stay employed, they had to relentlessly go after creating a design to create this engine block that globally was previously believed to be impossible to create. And it took them about 14 months and probably hundreds if not thousands of prototypes, but eventually they did it. Eventually they cracked it. And what happened in that moment is Henry Ford had definiteness of purpose. He said, not only is this what I'm committed to, but I am certain that we are gonna get there. I may not be sure how it is that we're gonna get there, but I am certain that we will. And so if there's a emotional state that I would encourage you to all cultivate in your leadership, it would be that of active expectancy, where you say, this is what we're committed to, this is what we are not gonna settle for, and I'm going to expect that it's going to be created, okay? Think of, for instance, who you guys were five or 10 years ago. And maybe there was a skill that you wanted to develop. Maybe there was an instrument that you wanted to play. Maybe there was a school that you wanted to go to. Maybe, I, I don't know what it was, but at some point in your life, what I know about every person in this room is you all said to yourself at one point, that's something I really want, and I may not know how to get it, but I'm gonna get it. And then you got it, didn't you? When you had enough leverage on yourself and you said, this is something I'm absolutely going to have. So what's interesting is we have this tendency as human beings, again, right, our brain is a fear-producing machine. It's trying to keep us alive, not necessarily make us feel fulfilled. And we've got to understand that. And what that means is it will create a map for us that tells us, no, you can't do that. That's not going to happen. No way. And so what you've got to be able to do is acknowledge that and say, hey, you know what? What am I taking for granted? What beliefs am I walking around with right now that are defining for me what I believe is possible, and what can I now choose to expand to? And even though I may not know how, if I develop active expectancy, if I can understand that history is showing me that success leaves clues, if I can understand that all of the individuals in the world who have made extraordinary levels of impact first believed that they could do it, right? Think of Thomas Edison, right? He didn't think that he was failing. He, every single time that he you know, had a filament that he tried that didn't work, he literally said, hey, I'm one step closer. Because now I know that that didn't work, but that's fine. I'm getting closer and closer and closer and closer. So you may not yet know how it is that you're gonna achieve what, what you really wanna achieve, but I can tell you this. If you do not get crystal clear right now on what it is you're committed to creating in your life, who you're committed to being, how you're committed to serving as a leader, and if you do not develop a level of certainty that you can and will create that for yourself, it's absolutely never gonna happen.